I moved to Ithaca, New York back in August of 1981 and within a few days Chef Al Davis hired me as a Cornell Dining Service cook with absolutely no cooking experience because he said he was going to train me his way and he did. He trained me in French cuisine. He was a former instructor at Johnson & Wells Culinary Institute. After about eight years of working in the trenches doing dinners for a thousand students per night they asked me if I wanted to work in a fraternity. And I said, well, what's a fraternity? And they said, oh, it's a big house where about 40 young men live and their students. I said, sure, I'll try it. And that was 1990. That's when I started working for fraternities. I've worked for a couple of sororities along the way, but most of the time it's always been fraternities. And most of the time it's been either Chi Phi fraternity or Kappa Sigma fraternity, both 11 years each I've worked for. Anyway, these are some random pictures over the th three decades that I've been cooking in fraternities, and I thought you'd enjoy them. Um, they're not in any particular order. They're not in chronological order. They're just up there, you know, to see. Thank you very much. I hope you enjoy them. I've had a great time working as a fraternity chef, and I'm still working as, as of today. I'm still as a fraternity chef now. They can't get rid of me. By my calculation, I've been working at the Cornell University cooking for students for about 43 years now. And I'm positive that I'm the longest chef on that campus in whatever venue they're working in, whether it's Cornell Dining Service, a fraternity, a sorority, a small unit. No one has been cooking on Cornell University campus longer than me. So they could all kiss my you know what. Thanks for watching.